There is literally nothing I hate more in this world than pyramid schemes. Oh, I'm sorry, network marketing. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Izzy Nobri and this is the Izzy Nobri Show. Let me put you up to speed to what happened to me this weekend. My wife knows somebody that she hadn't seen in a while and apparently they were talking about getting some coffee and catching up and whatever. Now, my wife and I have been talking a lot about traveling more uh, in the, the next couple of months. I, 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 I kind of prioritized working and studying and putting money away and being you know a responsible adult that I pretend to everybody that I am so I've been wanting to go someplace travel somewhere maybe shoot some video there too it'll be cool I just I'm gonna knock the lights here Fucking piece of shit. so this person my wife knows was all like oh you guys want to travel more that's really cool I travel a lot and I have a lot of travel tips that I love to share with you and we haven't really seen each other in a while let's go get some coffee let's catch up you know, we can talk about travel and all these travel tips or whatever. So my wife tells me, let's go see so-and-so, get some coffee, talk about, you know, traveling and all this stuff. Apparently she's very experienced in that. It's gonna be interesting to hear what she has to say. Let's go check it out. Now, like I said before, I hate pyramid schemes with a fiery passion. You have no idea. I actually, I, I have a book out in Brazil and one of the chapters is about my run-in with one of these multi-level marketing people that tried to recruit me when I was just fresh off the boat here in Canada. Now, keep in mind, I spoke no English. I didn't know anybody. I had no money. And, and this guy, but uh, let's save this for later. Let's save this for later. For a while, like two years ago, pyramid schemes were very popular in Brazil. So much so that I had to actually write a whole article on my website, which is in Portuguese, so I'm not gonna link here because you're not gonna be able to read it anyway. But I wrote a whole article about pyramid schemes, about the multi-level marketing veneer that these people try to put over. You cannot polish a turd, but these people try. So I had to write this whole thing explaining why this is a bad idea, why it's a terrible waste of money and time at best, and a flat out scam at worst. So I'm, I, I, I am what you could say the absolute worst person you could pitch one of these things to. Uh, now I'm knocking this one! F I think I broke it. Ah, uh, sh**. So because of that, you could say I'm somewhat knowledgeable about these people and their tricks. So whenever I hear something like, hey, this person that I don't, I haven't really talked to in a while is inviting me out for coffee to discuss something that's kind of not exactly clear, that's the first red flag for me. Though Immediately I'm like, mm, what's up with that? But because this was just about meeting somebody for coffee and talking about traveling, there was no business opportunity or investment opportunity. This is kind of the weasel phrases these people sometimes use. Because there was none of that, I'm like, well, maybe it's nothing. So we go to the, to the Starbucks around here and there was a second red flag which was this lady had an iPad out on the table. Now, I carry my iPad everywhere. This on By itself, it's nothing, but she, she's gonna show us like a presentation or something, right? Like how much we can make with whatever she's about to pitch us, right? This is what this is about. Third red flag is that she offered to pay for our drinks. Now, again, if this was just about meeting an acquaintance that we haven't seen in a while to talk, there was no reason for her to try to, you know, to be a host like that, to pay for our drinks. So, third red flag, I'm already like, okay, go ahead, go ahead, what, what do you want to sell me? Sure enough, she pulls out the iPad and she's like, you know what, I'll just show you this video presentation, which by the way, was 20 minutes long, I'm gonna actually link it here below, 20 minutes long, this f***ing video, and I'm like, okay, here we go, 20 minutes for sure, it's gonna, it's, it's some f***ing pyramid bullshit, I, I bet! So the video starts and it's just people talking about their travel experience or whatever, and then I think like four minutes of that 20 minute video is like people enjoying life and going to these places and whatever, and then then it gets to what I feared all along. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Before she showed us the video, before she showed us the video, she actually said, she actually said this. She actually said these words out loud. They came out of her mouth into the air and it came into my ear. She, she said, I've been working with network marketing for a while. <laughs> So anyway, back to the video, right? 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes long, four minutes or so were about the travel, and then like the rest of the video is about this business opportunity that she never mentioned before, where I buy something off of her and I become a, a licensed independent reseller of the, of the shit that she wants to sell us, and then we go and we invite other people, and then, this is the part that like, I, I cannot believe people fall for this. There's always this part in the, these videos, that they show like one person at the top, which is supposed to be you, and then like the two people, or three or four, whatever the f number of people that you invite, and they invite more people, and they invite more people, 
And then at the end of the day, the whole idea is that you're gonna make a bunch of money if you just manage to get these people and they get some more people and they get some more people. And I'm like, get, just get a marker and follow that along. What, what shape is this? What is this? So what I'm trying to say here, somebody comes out of the blue trying to talk to you, go, take you out for coffee to discuss some business proposition or whatever. They wanna pitch you your, your own business. You can start your own business. That's how sometimes, you know what? There's, there's an economic downturn here and uh, times are tough for a lot of people. I am in a privileged position because I have a full-time quote-unquote real job and on top of that I get paid to tell jokes on the internet. So I understand that I'm, I'm not the target audience for this. Some people out there are struggling to make ends meet and that's why these ideas of like, oh I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to sell to this person, this person can sell to this person and then I'm going to have this little empire and I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be great. It just, it never works. These things don't work. The, the network marketing or multi-level marketing or whatever they're calling now. These things do not work. At best, they are a terrible uh, way to, to put your time towards a financial goal because they pay very little. And at worst, they are flat out scams. I mentioned the guy in the beginning that wanted to recruit me when I first came to, to Canada, right? So uh, I was desperate for work. I'd, like I said, I didn't speak any English, I had no money, I didn't know anybody. This guy came all the way to my house to try to recruit me. And I thought it was weird that I kept telling him, look, I don't know anybody, I don't speak English very well, which I'm sure you can tell. And I just, I don't think I'm a good salesperson. I, I'm, I don't think I am cut out for this and it, it, it seemed odd to me that he he seemed more eager to hire me and I use quotes because these people are not really hiring you in the traditional sense of the word he was more eager to hire me than I was to work for him and he didn't come across as a very uh, a successful guy even though he, he drove a piece of shit car even though he kept talking about like this is a great opportunity you can make a lot of money this person and so and so from wherever the f made a lot of money made millions of dollars selling this stupid garbage he was talking a lot of talk but he, he did not broadcast the, the image of success, which is probably why these pyramid scheme guys, they try really hard to show off that like, look at how much money this guy's making. Look at how, how far this guy has accomplished and, and look how much this guy has accomplished with our program because they know that that's the only way to make this believable. You know, it's funny because I hate pyramid schemes. I hate all this garbage and I never had, I, I'm, I'm thankful that nobody in my family has ever fallen for this. Not even my, not even my extended family. I just like to think that nobody's are smarter than that. My point is that I didn't fall for that back then when I was even more naive than I am today. It kind of blows me away that people fall for this. Like, uh, just a quick Google search on whatever business they're trying to pitch you will show you a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people that got burned by these. Anyway, every time I talk about the subject on my Brazilian channel, I have, for some reason these things are very big in Brazil. Go figure. Every time I talk about multi-level marketing or whatever you want to call it, I get a lot of people commenting you know, in the comments, oh, but Izzy, that's not a scam. That's perfectly legitimate. This company has been around for years. The problem is with the pyramid scheme, money comes in with the people at the bottom. The people at the bottom join up and then that money goes to the people at the top and then that money goes to the people at the top and it filters through all the way to the top and the people at the bottom get nothing. Anyway, that's what I think. Let me know in the comments below how you think I'm probably wrong. There's videos here every week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the garbage that we always ask for and that's it. I'm Izzy and I'm done. I think the worst thing about these pyramid scheme things is not so much that they prey on, on your relationships, on like your friends and family and coworkers and things like that. It's the fact that for me, for me personally, I hate to be put on an awkward spot to have to say no to somebody, to, tell, to have to tell them that they're like, they're wrong about something. I hate doing that. So whenever these people show up and like they pitch me these things, the moment I get a whiff of like, oh, it's, it's another network marketing garbage, whatever. I, I just can't bring myself to tell them a straight like, nope, not interested. I can't. And I'm going to start doing it from, I'm going to start doing that from now on.